Hello everyone. I'm reading a book called Praying with Paul from D.A. Carson. And he goes through some sections regarding prayer. And specifically this section in his book, Excuses for Not Praying. And he gives one that I would like to share this evening. I am content with mediocrity is one of the sections that I would like to share this evening from the text. He says, some Christians want enough of Christ to be identified with him, but not enough to be seriously inconvenienced. They generally cling to basic Christian orthodoxy, but do not want to engage in serious Bible study. They value moral prohibity, especially of the public sort, but do not engage in war against inner corruptions. They fret over the quality of the preacher's sermon, but do not worry much over the quality of their own prayer life. Such Christians are content with mediocrity. What is God's response? Many passages could be brought to bear on the condition. One of the most intriguing is the letter written by James, the half-brother of Jesus. Writing to Christians, he nevertheless finds it necessary to say, You quarrel and fight. You do not have because you do not ask God. James 4.2 Here are Christians bickering and squabbling, profoundly frustrated because of their prayerlessness. When they do not pray, they are no better off. When you ask, you do not receive because you ask with the wrong motives, that you may spend what you get on your pleasures. That's James 4.3. From God's perspective, such Christians are adulterous people. That's James 4.4. 4. Because they nominally maintaining an intimate relationship with God, they are trying to foster an intimate relationship with the world. You adulterous people, don't you know that friendship with the world means enmity against God? Therefore, anyone who chooses to be a friend of the world becomes an enemy of God, the text says in James 4, 4. God's response is utterly uncompromising. Submit yourselves then to God. Resist the devil and he will flee from you. Come near to God and he will come near to you. Wash your hands, you sinners, and purify your hearts, you double-minded. Grieve and mourn and wail. Change your laughter to mourning and your joy to gloom. Humble yourselves before the Lord and he will lift you up. The sad truth is that at various times, all of us need to apply these words to our life. So I wanted to share that um, briefly. I just thought it necessary to share. It was on my heart this evening as I was reading D.A. Carson's Praying with Paul. Have a great day. God bless you.